Hi everyone! Welcome to my very first monthly favorites video. This month I'm going to be sharing some of my favorites in both the food and the natural beauty side of things and I'm really excited to dive right in. So I'm going to start with the food because that's obviously what I am super super passionate about and then we will move on to the beauty. So as you know, I'm still in Vermont. You can see that I am not in my New York City apartment. So the first thing that I am sharing today is actually a Vermont product. You can get them across the entire country, but they are local Vermont strawberries. So it's strawberry season here in Vermont, and you guys, these strawberries are amazing. The color is just so vibrant and red. They are incredibly juicy, very sweet, and we are putting them on everything. I actually did just share a strawberry breakfast bar recipe which used Vermont local strawberries, and you can check that out in the description box below. And I think if you guys have local strawberries in your area, definitely pick them up and enjoy this season while it lasts because it's not very long. So to pair with my local strawberries, I actually discovered a brand new yogurt that I'm really excited about. This is Anita's Coconut Yogurt, and the ingredient list is super simple. It's just coconut milk, coconut water, and probiotics. And the texture of this is so thick and creamy. It's almost like a Greek yogurt mixed with a coconut cream, and it is just decadent. It is a local company uh, to New York. It is in Brooklyn, I believe, and I'm not sure what their distribution is, but if you are in New York City or in the New York City area, Whole Foods, Fairway, a lot of those places have this yogurt, and while it is on a little bit of the pricey side, I highly recommend picking it up because it is amazing. Next up on my list is something that I found at a natural food store here in Vermont, and this is maple coconut. So it is in the bulk section of a lot of natural food stores, and it's basically coconut flakes that have been toasted and cooked with maple syrup. This is such an amazing, sweet, after dinner dessert treat, or I've even been sprinkling it on my smoothie bowls in the morning and it's so good. It kind of reminds me of like a maple candy, but it's really healthy because there's no refined sugar. The only ingredients are coconut flakes and maple syrup. It is from Tierra Farms, I believe, and I'm sure you can buy it online. I will search and if I find a link for it online, I will put it in the description box below so that you guys can buy it. But this is a healthy sweet treat that goes perfect on granola, on yogurt, on smoothie bowls, or just as a quick after dinner sweet snack. So you guys know how much I love kombucha if you have seen any of my what I eat in a day videos because I drink kombucha almost every single day and I just think the taste is amazing. I love how healthy it is and great for my gut it is and I always notice that my digestion is way better and I have to share this amazing thing that I discovered at the Whole Foods in Columbus Circle. It is a giant bottle of gingerade kombucha. This is three servings of kombucha in one bottle. It is the price of two, I believe, so it's a great deal. If you're a big fan of kombucha like I am, it's a great way to save, and it's the regular gingerade flavor, so it's so good. I was psyched when I found this, and it actually surprisingly lasts a while. So let me know in the comments below if you have seen these giant bottles, and the two flavors I saw at Whole Foods were gingerade and Trilogy. So those are my two favorite flavors, so this is perfect. Next up on my food list is something that I discovered uh, a few months ago on one of my trips to Vermont, and it is from a company that is in New Hampshire. It's called Nuttin' Ordinary, and it's a cashew-based cheese spread. So the flavor that I love is Italian herb, and this is a fermented cashew cheese spread. It tastes kind of like cream cheese, but it's almost a uh, mix between chev and cream cheese, I would say. So it is dairy-free, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, it's obviously not nut-free, but um, it is so delicious, and I love to spread it on toast with some sliced avocado on top, or I actually enjoy it just with like Mary's Gone Crackers or with corn chips. So the ingredient list is really simple. It doesn't have anything processed, which I love. It's just cashews, water, salt, nutritional yeast, Italian herbs, and a probiotic blend. So I definitely splurged on this a little bit. I don't remember exactly what it cost, but 
Because the ingredient list is so simple, I have a feeling that it might not be that difficult to make at home. So I am going to do a little bit of Googling and see if I can find a recipe for fermented cashew cheese. If you guys have tried to make a cashew sour cream or a cashew cheese spread like this that has a little bit of fermentation to it, let me know because I definitely want to try it and if I can nail it, then I obviously will share the recipe with you guys because this will be a game changer. The last food item on my list this month is chocolate because you guys know how much I love my chocolate. I definitely have a sweet tooth, but I also like to make sure that when I'm eating something sweet, I am eating something that is also healthy. So the chocolate that I have found this month that I am obsessed with is from Hue Kitchen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's what it looks like, so that's how I'm gonna say it. And they have a bunch of different flavors of chocolate, but these two are my favorite. So this one is cashew butter, bourbon vanilla, and chocolate. It's kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but with cashew butter, so it's almost like caramelly, and it's so, so, so good. And the other one, which I am obsessed with, is their almond butter and puffed quinoa chocolate. This reminds me of a crunch bar, but it's super dark, it's really creamy, it's not too sweet, but it has that nice little crunch from the quinoa puffs. I actually bought this in Vermont, so I am realizing that their distribution is increasing a lot. I think what you guys are really gonna like about it is that it is actually sweetened with coconut sugar. So that means that it is not only vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, but also um, paleo-friendly. So if any of you are following the paleo diet, then and this chocolate is perfect for you. All right, now we are going to move on to my natural beauty faves of the month, and I'm going to start with a product that I talked about in my healthy grocery haul. So if you've seen that video, then you might remember this leave-in hair conditioning heat protectant treatment that I talked about. It's from Giovanni, and I told you guys that I would give you an update, tell you how I liked it, and I love it. I'm using it every single time that I blow dry my hair, and it leaves this like amazing kind of shine, but also it feels really hydrating, so my hair isn't getting dry and it smells really nice too. So this is like vegan, cruelty-free, it's a great product. I haven't tried their shampoo, but I definitely like this. Next up on my list is something that I use every single day, and I have been using it every single day for like a year. This is from Andalou Naturals, and it is their all-in-one beauty balm, so it's a BB cream, I guess, <laughs> um, and it's a tinted moisturizer. So what I love about this is that it comes in just one shade, it's really light, it also has SPF 30, so it's amazing for the summertime. I mean, really, you should be having an SPF on your face all the time, and it's also part of their brightening line, so it gives you like a nice glow, and I love it. I swear, I use this every single day, and I've gotten others hooked on it, I will leave a link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. And also, I'm interested in just knowing from you guys if you would like to see my daily makeup routine. I don't actually use makeup every single day, but when I do, if you want to see it and the products that I use, let me know in the comments section and I will create a video for you. For now, I highly recommend that you check this out because it is amazing, especially if you don't feel like wearing powder, this is perfect. Next up is actually an essential oil and I got into essential oils like a year and a half ago maybe. I bought a starter kit from um, a company called Young Living and I was using them to help me sleep, to help me stay focused during work and I started like experimenting with a few different blends and I definitely have ones that I love for when I go to sleep and also ones that are a little bit more energizing but I discovered this one essential oil that I have been using every single night and I swear it helps me sleep so deeply and like I wake up feeling so rested that I just had to share it with you. So it's this little purple oil, it's called Valor, and it smells really, really nice. The oil is actually like a bluish purple color, and all you have to do is just put one drop on your finger and rub it on the base of your big toe, and you just go to bed like normal, and it helps me sleep so well. I will leave a link in the description box below to this oil, but if you are interested in learning more about essential oils, let me know in the comment section, and I think that they definitely deserve their own video. So I will put that together for you if you want to know about how I use essential oils. So let me know what you think, and in the meantime, read about Valor and see if you can pick it up on your own, and I think you guys are really going to like it. 
Next up is a facial mask that I have been using lately that I really, really, really like. It is from Tata Harper, and Tata Harper is actually a Vermont-based company, and they have amazing natural skin care products. And this is the resurfacing mask. This is a very light mask that I use usually right before I film a video. Um, you leave it on for like half an hour, and I usually do it in the morning, and then it leaves your skin so hydrated and also with this like beautiful glow. It's just amazing. I've tried their facial wash, I've tried um, one of their eye creams, I've tried their floral essence which is their toner and I've loved everything. It all smells so delicious and you can really tell that it's made from pure ingredients. So I will link to this particular mask in the description below so that you can check it out and if you are on the hunt for a brand new mask I highly recommend that you try this one. Last but not least, in my monthly faves for June, I wanted to share a product for your face that I discovered on a recent trip to Boston. So I went to Boston for a girls weekend with some of my blogger friends and we went to an organic spa on Newbury Street, which is like a very large kind of main shopping street in Boston. And the organic spa is run by this amazing woman who is really into health, nutrition, wellness, and she carries a line of skincare products that are from Sweden actually. And there are only two spas in America that carry this line and it is completely natural. They use a lot of fruits, they use fruit pigments in their makeup, they use essential oils for their fragrances, their packaging is compostable. They don't use any packaging other than like what the product is itself, no boxes, nothing like that. And the thing that I fell in love with while we were there was their papaya peel. And I've actually never used a peel before, but I guess I would just consider it kind of like a light exfoliant and it smells so good. Like it smells so tropical that when you put it on your face, you're like, I wish that I could eat this right now. Like that's how good it smells. And it's very gentle. It's great for all skin types. And it really leaves your skin so soft, but also like really hydrating. I feel like sometimes peels can dry me out a little bit, but this one is incredibly like moisturizing and I have just completely fallen in love with this and all of their other stuff. I will um, link to the website where I actually bought this because you can buy them from them. And I will give you guys an update on some of the other products that I'm testing out of theirs. I'm using an eye gel right now that she said to try for like a few weeks and see what the results are. And so I haven't been using it for that long, but I will definitely come back and let you guys know what I think of that. I will again leave a link in the description box below and I hope you guys give it a try. So there you have it my friends. That is all of the products that I am loving this month. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, let me know what you think. If there are products that you guys are loving right now, I would love to know about them. So you can leave them in the description box below and I'll be sure to check them out. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think of these monthly faves if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love to have you join our community. You can do so by clicking the button that's up in this corner. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye!